All right, so here we have another application problem in TRIG with dealing with vectors. All right, so it says find the amount of force required to pull a 250-pound tortoise up a ramp leading into a truck. The angle of elevation of the ramp is 30 degrees. All right, so, well, first let's go ahead and draw a picture. So I've got a ramp. We got a ramp that is 30 degrees. Okay, that's the angle of elevation of the ramp. And we have a tortoise. I know that's doesn't look like one, but that's what we're going to use to represent it. All right. And we've got a we've got a truck over here. Okay, it's leading up into the back of this truck here. All right. So it tells us that the tortoise weighs 250 pounds. So the 250 pounds, that force is the force straight down. Okay, that's 250 pounds. All right, and what we want to know is the amount of force required to pull it up the ramp. So we want to know the force. going this way. Okay. This is what we're looking for. We'll call this vector V. All right. So actually we have a we have a another force, okay? And it's perpendicular to the ramp. Okay. And this is going to look something that's going to be like this. Well, I may have drawn it a little too long. Let's see. Maybe about right in there. All right? Something like that. Well, anyway, this this right here is perpendicular and then and we can draw this force down here parallel like this. And this this right here this force here, that is also vector V. I know in my drawing they probably don't look the same length because, I mean, none of this is to scale. So, But th this vector here, the length of this vector, is the same as the length of that vector. Okay. All right. So now we know that this angle is 30 degrees. And what that's going to do, that tells us that this angle here is also 30 degrees. Okay. All right. Now, and I mean, it's, it's easy to see that this is 30. We have, we have a right angle here. You see that, that right angle? Well, this is 90 degrees here also. And we also know that this is 90 degrees. Okay. And and what you can do is I mean if, if you take if you take this triangle here, this blue triangle here, and you you uh flip it around. So if you flip this side up this way, and then move this right angle here. This this side here will lay right here, and you can see. And they're, they're similar triangles. Okay, so this gives us 30 degrees also. All right. Well, I mean, this is easy to find. We're just looking for the magnitude of this vector here. Well, we know this is 250. We know this angle. This is a right angle, so 250 is the hypotenuse, and then this side here is opposite 30 degrees so look at this opposite hypotenuse well what is that that's the sine of 30 degrees is equal to opposite we're looking for the magnitude of V over 
the hypotenuse, which is 250. All right. So if we move the 250 up here, we get the magnitude of V is equal to the sine of 30 degrees times whoop, times 250. And so we just punch that into the calculator. So we get 250 times sine 30. And that is going to be, well, we don't even really need a calculator to do because we know the sine of 30 is a half. And 1 half times 250. So the magnitude of V is 125 pounds. And that would be the force needed to pull the tortoise up the ramp. Okay. All right. So hope this video helped. Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.